Con congratulations on the victory. Uh, how satisfied were you uh, picking up another win inside the Octagon? I'm so happy to coming back to Canada. I always feel great here. Uh, and I'm so happy to win again. Talk a little bit about the game plan going in there. What was the game plan going in there? Uh, my game plan? I want to keep the fight in the stand-up. And I want to put more, more stand up, more like excited fighting. But Mark Barutti don't let me. He pressed me all the time, put me to the cage, and try to dirty boxing. So I just switched my game plan for his game, and I try to take him down and hold him in the cage and use my knee and my elbow. How frustrating is that when you want to get in there and throw hands in your opponent that's always trying to clinch up with you? You know, I was in a main card and I want to get excited fight, but it's not my fault because I fight like my opponent let me fight, you know? A couple times when you got in the clinch, I think you could hear that the, the crowd started to boo a little bit. Did you hear that? Does that get in your head? And yeah, I hear this. And I all the time try to switch the, switch the position and use little elbow and try to box it with him, kick him, but he just <laughs> goes forward and push me to the cage. You spoke before the fight about working with a mental coach and learning that you're not Robbie Lawler, you know, you're yourself. Have you found you as a fighter, do you think? Yeah, I think so. Uh, because I am going to Octagon and I'm fighting. I want to use my weapons, what is the best for me. I'm not Robbie Lawler and I don't be aggressive if I'm not or I'm not aggressive. So I'm used my moving. I was a Break dancer, a couple six, six, seven years. So I like to move. I like to use the elbow, knee. I was living in Thailand one year, so I like to be like moving fight. Did you get damage tonight? How many stitches? Uh, I don't worry about it. It was like six, seven stitches, but whatever. How are you going to celebrate your big victory? Mm. <laughs> uh, how I want to celebrate? <laughs> I don't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> that right. much fun. That, that's an answer in itself. <laughs> <laughs> right, you called out your right hall again, right? Yes, because when I fight with him, I have a uh, broken hand, and I don't know about this. Uh, my doctor in Poland just fucked up my hands, and I have uh, like two years pain all the time. I have like. I don't know, 10 times PRP, 10 times cortisone in my hand, and all the time was bad, 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 bad. And I go to the specialist in the US and he fixed my hands. And I beat his ass all around and I was like one second, this concentrate and he just touched me one time. And this is, was his fight. So I want to fight him again and show him now when I'm healthy, good, Good mentally, strong, stronger. I wanna. I hope so. Dana White and UFC make the rematch for me. Would be awesome. What do you think of the uh, big middleweight title fight coming up between uh, Adesanya and Robert Whitaker? Uh, I am f from uh, keep the finger for Whitaker because I hate this dude Adesanya. He talked too much trash and maybe he's good, but. I really don't like this guy. Yeah, just because he talks so much? No, he talk and talk and talk and talk and, and it's not fun for me. Congratulations. Cool. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you.